Five on your side got a rare look at how health inspectors examine local restaurants to make sure the food you eat is safe. Our team reports on restaurant ratings every Friday, but today, Keely Arthur joins us live from a windswept restaurant in Raleigh to show us how rigorous these inspections can be. Keely? Gerald, I know it's dinner time, but we're going to talk about food poisoning for just five seconds. One in six Americans will get it every single year. And we are here today because Wake County held a mock inspection to show us how they work to keep restaurants safe, choosing El Taco Market specifically because they consistently score very high. It's lunchtime at El Taco Market and the grill is sizzling. While the staff cooks up delicious dishes. The one of the best selling burritos California like we have it. An inspector pours over their every move from food temperatures. Let me get a temperature on that. That's already very nice and cold. To storage. Time, time, time to cook, uh, time to expire. Plus training. How do you train employees on oh. foodborne illness? I'll wash my hands. And of course, yes, hand washing. Very important. Get a temperature on the tripe cooking. But we are really focusing on risk factors. Wake County Environmental Senior Consultant Melissa Ham says the county is working on reaching higher voluntary FDA standards. We've got operators that are paying closer attention to risk factors because that's what they're being held to. Focusing on preventing the sources of foodborne illness. That means they have safer kitchens. Less people are going to get sick when they eat out. And a normal inspection will take about an hour and a half. So many of you have emailed five on your side asking what those letters really mean. An A generally means a restaurant is doing just fine. A B can indicate a serious violation. Think an issue with food temperature that can lead to foodborne illness, improper hand washing, even bugs. And a C, it's not like a C you get in school. A C means that a restaurant really could be in jeopardy of losing its license because of the violations. So pay attention to those scores. They do tell you so much. Gerald. Just look at them when you walk into a restaurant. It's right there. Keely Arthur, thank you. Wake County set a goal to achieve the remaining FDA standards by 2024.